Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. <laughs> I'm talking loud because somebody just started like sawing wood and using drills out in the backyard over there. The neighbor. That's their right. So <laughs> anyway, it's just bad timing. It got a little noisy, um, but I don't hear it now. So if you hear that, that's what that is in the background. So I apologize if it's too loud. I can't do anything about it. So we're going to do your reading, Virgo. We're going to do a release and a receive. I'm using a whole whack of decks. I feel like I might have bitten off more than I can chew and we'll go around with the Zodiac, but I'm going to try. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm starting with my God and Titan deck mixed with my Dark Goddess deck is going to be used for the release. And then for the receive, I have um, my Starseed Oracle and my Goddess Wisdom deck combined. And then I'm also going to be using my Energy Oracle deck. I haven't even been looking at the cards underneath for you. And then for the tarot, I have the Murder of Crows tarot. So release and receive. If you know me, you've seen me do them before. If you don't, we're going to see what the universe would like you to release so that you can receive this. So yeah, it's getting rid of something out of your life so something can come in. Let's get started. So we're going to start with the um, God and Titan and Dark Goddess combination deck for the release. The release Virgo. What y'all need to let go of? What do you need to get rid of? What do you need to release? Loss. Well, that's interesting. So you need to release the feeling of loss. Or there's something in your life that you've lost and you need to get over that shit. <laughs> <laughs> the way the tarot always comes through destruction oh i love this it's callie though i don't know if she's like in some way connected to um oh what's his name what is his name shiva shiva is it she? yeah is it he yeah oh god i hope i'm not getting this all messed up but I'm just going to tell you the message that came in was the goddess, the god of destroy. No, Callie, she is the destroyer. But it destroys. So the whole message of this is everything is destroyed except love. Love is the only thing that remains. It is the only thing that has any real value. It is the only thing that creates life and the universe and the cosmos. So get rid of everything else that isn't love and only open to love. So that's interesting because you have released loss. So obviously there's something that you've lost in your life. And there's a, say probably like some sort of pain, obviously. If you're being asked to release this loss, if you're still hanging on to it on somehow, on some emotional level, it's almost like perhaps it's the idea of what something was. Because if it doesn't remain, it is not love. It is not true love. It is not the love that comes from like the universe. So it wasn't pure. It was meant to leave your life. Interesting shit. So let's see. What is the receive? Oh, this deck is hard to shuffle. The ladies are a handful. <laughs> the ladies are a handful. The goddess and starseed deck. Okay. What does Virgo to receive? What should they get ready to receive then? If they can get over loss, what can they receive? What will Virgo receive? What are they being asked to receive? Why are they not talking? There we go. It fell right over loss. Like, cover that up. Don't even look at it anymore. Okay. miracles <laughs> and it just to me that is like the symbolism of like divine love right divine love and divine purity so get over some sort of loss from the past that wasn't love and get ready to receive the miracles from heaven honey jump in andromedan energy adventure say yes to change deep cellular healing Arctuous energy, physical and emotional healing. Oh, it's so nice, Virgo. This is really, this is nice. Isn't that nice? 
<laughs> nice reading. Well, it might not feel like nice if you're really like getting over some sort of loss and depending on how soon or, or how recently that occurred. Okay, look at this bottom. <laughs> Look at this bottom. Isn't it a nice bottom? I feel like, you know, if you ever watch like football or any game where men are wearing tights, I'm sorry, I'm going to be a little bit sexist in reverse here. You just want to look at this little, just little touch the little bottom. <laughs> look at this bottom. You got baby steps. Action. Following your intuition before it makes sense. So just take little steps. You don't have to take big leaps and bounds here. Just little tiny steps is all you need to do, Virgo, to get yourself out of something that has fallen out of your life, has been taken out of your life, you've removed out of your life, whatever this could possibly be, the loss that you have felt in that, and get ready to receive, like, real, the real beauty of divinity. There were things going on or something going on in your life that needed to be taken out. The universe said, no, this is not for your higher good. This is not for someone else's higher good. This is not coming from divine. So it almost feels like, you know, magician energy in the reverse or devil energy. It was not. So it be a, as it is above, so be it below. It was, which is really funny because Leo was given permission to tell the universe, to micromanage the universe. But no, you're not. So this was definitely... Um, the reverse of that is it's going to be this way regardless of what divine wants this is what i want this is what my ego wants so whether that was you or you participating with someone else or someone else was doing this to you or whatever that could have been but that wasn't divine so get over that shit <laughs> see i channel i channel but it's not necessarily what i would say it to you i'd be like do you want to get an ice cream okay let's get an ice cream and talk about it. <laughs> but see i'm just i'm channeling for the divine right now like, get over that shit it's not the real shit it's not the real kahuna baby jump in say yes to change okay so things are going to start changing around you there's going to be some possibilities be open to them but you don't have to like it's kind of cool because she is diving in right she is diving in but the under well the underline is baby steps and when I ever say the underline, that's why we're here. So maybe it's time to start taking bigger steps. Maybe you've been taking steps up to this point and it doesn't make sense why. Why am I walking in this direction? Why do I get led into this direction? Or what's the purpose of this? Maybe you have been doing that. It's time to maybe take some bigger steps here, even possibly, if you've been doing the baby steps for a bit. It's time to physically and emotionally heal. Well, physically, I don't know what that means for you. <laughs> Maybe get to pat all the little football and baseball players' bumps. <laughs> oh, don't give me that stuff, guys. You know you're all looking at women's breasts and shit all the time. So, okay. All right. This, this card, this deck, the card that comes out, or more, whatever it is going to be, this is the energy between your release and your receive. So what sits between these two? What sits between Virgo's release and receive? Walk into the storm. <laughs> Go where you're guided. Walk into the storm. This, okay. This doesn't say to do anything foolish or dangerous to yourself. Don't walk down a dark alley that you know is not safe to do at certain times of day. Please don't do that. This just says the universe may guide you to places you may be guided and you won't know why, right? The baby steps, take the steps, take the steps towards something that might even seem conflictive, might seem like there's, it could be a massive tower moment associated with this too. It could be a massive tower moment associated with this. You're being led towards something. God, this reading has got having faith written all over it. It really does. If I was biblical, I'd probably talk about Moses in the desert or something. <laughs> was it him in the desert? I know that the Jews were in the desert for a long time, weren't they? I don't know. Anyway, it's, oh, geez, you got the temple path at the bottom. Oh, my goodness.
going into the tarot. <laughs> it's almost like I'm going in. I felt like it was really funny. You know what came into my head? Um, you know, Dr. Paul, the veterinarian guy, I think he's in Michigan. <laughs> he does the, the Dr. Paul, what is it called, Dr. Paul? I don't have cable anymore. I only catch it when I'm at my mom's house in a while. But I'm going, you know, like there's something, oh, this is why it's coming up. There's like a breached birth, some a birth, a stalled birth. That's what's going on here. Because I literally, like, I'm going in. I saw him put, an, actually, he doesn't have to put the big glove on anymore. <laughs> he just goes in. And he does the twisting and the turning of what he needs to do. And then that yanks that, gets the chains on those little hoofs and yanks that little puppy right on out. That's a bit of a storm. Like, if you're the one in the womb, oh, my God, what's happening? You're getting all these contractions. You're being, like, go this way. Go this way. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> like, I'm being crushed here. I can't breathe when you contract like that on me. Dr. Paul's coming in. <laughs> the universe to kind of get you into the right position. So that could feel like a storm. You're being guided to go out this hole. It's the only way through. <laughs> it's the only way through. He ain't doing a cesarean on that cow. Not to call your mama cow, I'm not doing that either. Oh my God, can just stop talking. Okay. You can see that the most repeated phrase on my report cards as a little kid was Cindy talks too much. But look, hey, I earn a living talking too much. You know, it's, it, you know, the one thing that you get called out for doing too often as a little kid could be the one thing that becomes your success. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh, here. Oh, the, I'm, I'm, I have to put the first card here. The lovers. You got the lovers for seven chakra and storm warning. Wow. That's absolutely beautiful, really, because we're talking about things being removed from your life because they have nothing to do with divine love, divinity. And here you are being guided by divinity in the name of love. So this loss, Ace of Wands, Three of Swords, Eight of Cups. Okay, this loss with the Ace of Wands, How would I describe that? Like, I'm looking for the right way to describe that. It's almost as if, like, inspired to sorrow is how I would call it. Because inspiration can come in many ways. But, you know, an ace of wands to me is is inspiration. It's seeing something for what it is. Um, But it can write you to become creative. It can write you... It, it can inspire you to become creative in some way i mean it can and you may have found creativity through your loss and then here it is the three of swords there it is this is very painful so this is like heartache this is um the pain that you endure through things being destroyed in your life and the eight of cups creates an emotional disconnection so you may have pulled your heart out of love you're like i'm not going there anymore i'm not doing that anymore because that just, that shit just hurts. So that's the storm warning for you. <laughs> this is resonating. Is that you're being asked to trust. You might be going, like, this could come out in so many ways. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be. It feels a little heavier on romantic energy. But it could be, it could be the loss of, um, a parental relationship. You could have had a mother or a father that was very narcissistic and controlling or just like wasn't good. And you just, and it was just, but it hurts. You know, you know, you have to do it because I can't continue to go down this path and be manipulated and have my life always gaslighted or whatever that could have been. Um, but it's still painful because, you know, well, I never thought I would have my life without this, that in my life. That I would have a life without that, without a mother or without a father, because I had to make a tough choice. Could have been a friend, could have been a colleague, could have been a sibling. There's a lot of ways this comes out, but it breaks your heart and it makes you feel like you're inspired to never love again. 
That's how we would call that. Inspired to not love again. Or at least that's how you could be feeling right now. I'm inspired to not love again. I'm done with that. Oh, this is going to be an interesting week. <laughs> okay. To receive is coming from the freaking heavens. The Eight of Pentacles. Well, that's interesting. You might find it at work. The Three of Pentacles. You really might find it at work. Really jump in and go with this. The Seven of Wands. Physical and emotional healing. But it's almost... Gosh. Because the Seven of Wands can be defensive. Lately for me, it's been... Um, out of inspiration from my Rider Waite Jack is defending your dreams. It's yeah, but your dream, right? The, the, the Ace of Wands can be a dream. I have a dream to never love again. So I'm going to defend that. And that is falling under physical and emotional healing. To never love again is to not physically and emotionally heal. To defend that dream. I shall never love again. Say yes to change, the three of pentacles. Somebody might want to build something with you. I feel like somebody wants to do something with you. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I feel like at first, though, it with the eight of pentacles and the three of pentacles, it could be something at work. But for every, it's not going to be that for everyone. But what it will be, I feel like, if this is resonating, that it will be working together on something. And it's going to be practical. It's going to be practical it's um and it's something that's it's something that's going to change something's going to change here somehow because say yes to change adventure i mean it could be somebody that you already know maybe that you work with and this person could say i don't know i'm just kind of coming up with something um Work on something together. Like they could say, uh, oh, do you want to build a community garden? Who's <laughs> come up with community garden? I don't know why. Oh, maybe I, <laughs> I meant to build a community garden one day somewhere. But like, you know, like do something. You're still, like it's not necessarily romantic. And you're going to be led, like you're being told to take steps be before even knowing that it makes sense. Like, why would I do that? Why? All right. But then watch this dream that you have here about, um, I shall never love again. Oh, there you go. The King of Swords at the bottom and the Eight of Wands. It's like communication coming to uh, Sourpuss. I don't want to say, oh, you have every right to be sour. Don't worry about it. I can say, if you want to be sour, you should be sour. But when the universe tries to guide you out of Sourpuss energy, I don't know. Who's winning? The devil. The devil that screwed up your shit is winning. The devil that made you feel like, I shall never love again, is the one that's winning. Why would you want the devil to win? I see that many times in comments. Going, I don't want to see anything romantic. I'm done with people. I'll tell you right then. When you're saying that stuff, the devil has won. Because that's what the devil wants. The devil doesn't want you to experience divine love. The devil's hoping, yeah. I set this person up good. I got them good. They're never going to accept the love that really comes from the cosmos. They're like, no, I won. Look at them. Look at them typing that in the comments. Look at them feeling that. I'm really divine. Oh, divine is really coming at you right now in this reading. It's going to be a trigger week. But I feel like this is a trigger that's coming from the heavens. Let's get into the teeny tiny <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I need to slink back from what just came out of my mouth. I'm channeling. If I release the video, I agree with the message. It's just not, I would buy you an ice cream. Let's go get ice cream. Well, I would, I couldn't have ice cream though. It upsets my stomach. So <laughs> I'm going to have a hot dog. You could have ice cream. Okay, the Ace of Wands. The Six of Cups. This could have been um, lessons learned through childhood about love, 
love doesn't come without strings attached, perhaps, is the kind of love that you've witnessed. Um, and that has carried on throughout your lifetime. Um, this is also about soulmates. Not all soulmates are good. Some of them are going to hurt. The Three of Swords. Look at that. And that shit. Oh, my God. The Seven of Swords and the world. Yeah, this is definitely what keeps you from starting a new cycle. The devil loves you right now. Oh, stay in this cycle with me. It's so much fun not to be alone. <laughs> the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups. Seven of Cups and the Four of Wands. So yeah, when you're detached from your emotions, but it's more than that. This is almost like a vow to never love again. Because it always just ends up in hurt and pain. But you can't find... It's, it's, okay, there is some degree here of you looking. You looking, uh, even if it's just like dreaming about it or wondering what it could be like or seeing other people that seem to be living in it. I wonder how that's like for them. I wonder what that really feels like. But you, you can't, because you're not allowing yourself to possibly love again. So it's hard to find that celebration. I'm going, before I go over here, I'm going right over here. Talk about the divine guiding you to take baby steps into the storm. And to me, with what's come out already, I don't even think that this is, would be seen by other people as like a catastrophic change. But it might feel like it to you. <laughs> You're like, I'm not going in that storm of love. <laughs> the lovers with the seventh chakra and the seventh <laughs> I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to stay right here. <laughs> the four of pentacles and the hanged man. This is definitely not participating. I'm just gonna stand off to the side and watch. I have really nothing more to say about that with the Four Pentacles and the Hangman. Definitely the, um, I'm not participating, I'm gonna stand off to the side and I'm gonna watch. I really like this reading. Before I get into clarifying this, and I'll say because, um, I mean, I I can resonate with this on some level. I think we all could, no matter really where you are, that we've all been through relationships that have really hurt. Well, unless you're really, really young, and I hope you don't have to, but you know what? It's inevitable. It just seems like it's inevitable as part of life. But, you know, and there are points where you go, I don't know that I will ever love again, or... I don't think I'm ready. But, you know, I feel like there's stages in our lives where we're just not ready. We're, um, but I have struggled with my channel in that sometimes it feels like that the universe wants to talk about love. But I get a lot of pushback from people. I just want to work on my spirituality. I want to work on myself. And that is absolutely legitimate. But, and I've perhaps found difficulty being able to communicate to the comments because I understand the hurt and I understand the frustration and I understand the blocks and the walls that we all put up. But I guess too, I feel like I want to try to reach out and say like, you can't keep doing this to yourself. You're hurting yourself. In this reading, the channeled messages that are coming in this to me feels like what I've always looked for in terms of trying to communicate to people that will be the ones that will um, push back on anything coming through. And it's hard for me because I know on some level there's a, a good percentage that don't want to hear it, but I'm really not here to be guided by what you want to hear and don't want to hear. Like I've got an agreement here between me and the divine. Before I start any reading, I always, always ask for, oh, what is it? Now I can't remember how I word it. Um, angels working in divine love truth or something I can't remember now I have this spiel I see it's like it just comes out when I naturally do it but I specifically ask for divine guidance in all of my readings and divine truth and so I've looked for the message to communicate to those 
that never again, I'll never trust again after everything that I've been through. The problem is the devil is winning when that happens. It's you're not being told to run like head first into the first thing that comes your way. You're take your baby steps, do what you need to do. But if you completely close off to humanity and the prospect of love through and with other people, the devil has won. That's where you're sitting in that. If you will never, ever come back again. So I love this reading. Don't know, it's probably a trigger all over the place. But this trigger is coming from divine. And it's a pretty powerful message. Okay. Miracles with Mary. The Eight of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. This is the legacy. This is the legacy. Like, this is the legacy. Say yes to change. The Three of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands. You're going to shine here. You're going to shine. You're going to shine. You're going to look good. You're going to feel good. Be a true leader. Be your leader. Don't let the devil run your life. You be the leader in your life. Give yourself opportunities. Don't deny yourself opportunities. Give yourself the right to accept or decline those opportunities as well. Physical and emotional healing with the Seven of Wands. Physical and emotional. Oh, God. Vicky threw it away. No, I don't want it to be. The Page of Wands. So there could be some sort of communication that comes in. Oh, this is so interesting. There could be some form of communication that comes in for you. And I say it's so interesting because it mimics a little bit, well, actually an awful lot of what came in the extended for, for Leo. Not that you have to go there or anything. Um, this page of wands can be seen in two ways. It's communication on some level, right? And um, part with the Leo one, communication is, what was it? Communication is... I want to get this right because this is definitely part of the message. Uh, it is the key to success or just bear with me. If you made it this far in this reading, it's really worth hearing this part. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> it's going to be at the back. No, where is it? oh okay communication is key that wasn't that difficult Cindy communication is key so whether that is you giving communication or receiving communication how you give and receive information is gonna and how that is interpreted by you and others has an awful lot to do with the frame of mind that you're in when that communication takes place. So if you are, your walls are up, I'll never love again. I'll never, no, nah, never give people opportunities to get close to me again. Um, you're going to misinterpret communication that comes in because it's seen through those eyes and only those eyes and heard through those ears and only those ears. And when you're communicating to people, you may not be like, I'm not totally closed off, Cindy. But you're standing like this and you're not, no. <laughs> it, you're projecting to people that message, right? So communication is key here for you. But I think it's key in terms of your mindset with it. Trust in yourself. The Queen of Wands knows her power. And the Queen of Wands allows all sorts of things to come her way because she has more than enough personal strength to say yay or nay. Are you saying nay to possibilities or are you saying nay into yourself and engaging those possibilities? That is the question. Oh, the strength card is at the bottom. Oh, look at the... You... You got this. You got this. Whatever's coming in for you. There's the tornado, right? It feels like a tornado to you. I think to other people, they'd be like, oh, this looks like a nice opportunity for Virgo. Ah! <laughs> you go screaming down. Ah, no! <laughs> like, they just said hi. <laughs> look at look at how she's taming the tornado. <laughs> Virgo running down. Ah, no! Everyone's like, they 
they just said hi. What's <laughs> anyway? That <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go do the extended. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for advice for you. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> you already got. I feel like you already got an earful from the divine in this reading, Virgo. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Thank you so much, Virgo. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.